Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Welcome again to another English with Joseph. Well, today we're going to talk about direct and indirect speech. Okay, so let me begin by giving you an example of direct speech. Imagine my friend told me that he was coming to visit at six. He would say, I will come to visit you at six. So if I'm giving this information to someone else, I can say, He said he will be here at six. Said is the past form of the verb to say. Imagine again that my friend said he's coming at six. But I don't remember what time he said. So I can say to my friend, Oh, he's, he told me that he's coming this evening. He told me. Told is the past of the verb to tell. So we use said and the verb to say when we are know exactly and we are repeating what's been said. That is direct speech. Okay? But if we don't know, then we're using reported speech because we think we remember but we're not sure. And at that point we use the verb tell. Oh yeah, he, he told me he was coming this evening sometime. I'm not sure when. You can't say He told me he will be here at six. But if you use the verb to tell, there's always some room to doubt the information. That's why in English we don't say stories, we tell stories, because stories are never 100% accurate. A lot of stories, books, Harry Potter, whatever, are fictitious. So even though I can say, yeah, he told me he'll be here later, which shows I don't remember. He told me he will be here at six. Again, there's a bit of doubt there. If I report what he said exactly, he said he will be here at six. I could even use his words exactly. I could say, he said, I will be here at six. Those were his exact words. But if I'm relaying this information to my friend, so my friend does not think that I'm saying it, I would use he. For example, he said he will be here at six. Okay, so there's two points to this. First of all, there's a verb that you choose to use. If you're certain of the information, you use the verb to say. If you're uncertain of the information, in any way, even in a slight doubt, you use the verb to tell, past tense, told. It's very important to be clear on this. He said he will be here at six is an exact fact. Oh, he told me he'll be here sometime this, this evening. I'm, I'm not sure exactly when. Or even, he told me he'll be here at six, I think. If you're unsure which verb to use, use told because you have more room for doubt there if you're not sure which of the verbs to use, say, say or tell. Okay, so maybe tell is a more useful one to give you doubt. But if you're reporting exact speech, he said, she said, you really should use the verb to say, <clears throat> especially if you know that it's really correct. Reported or indirect speech is usually used to talk about the past. So we normally change the tense of the word spoken. We use reporting verbs like tell and ask. And we may use the word that as well. We use say when there's no indirect object. He said that he was tired. So in that sentence you can see there's no object there. Ok? 
okay? Um, Americans often omit the word that. Um, he said he was tired, which is perfectly acceptable. There's nothing wrong with that. We always use tell when we say who is being spoken about, okay? For example, he told me that he was tired, okay? So we always use tell when you say who is being spoken about. He told me that he was tired, okay? So there's an indirect object there, so we use tell with say we don't. Okay? So that's another thing to remember about these two verbs to say and to tell. Let's just go over this quickly again. We looked at direct communication, direct speech. He said he will be here at 6. Okay, his exact words were, I will visit you at 6, so I can repeat that using he instead of I. I can say I if I want, he said. His words were, I will be here at 6. Okay. But if there's any doubt about the information given, or any lack of clarity in any way, use tell. So before you use said, be sure 100% that the information you are giving is correct. And we also use say when there is no indirect object. He said that he was tired. And we use tell when there is an indirect object. He told me that he was tired. So you can't say, for example, he said to me that he was tired. But you can say he said that he was tired. So, that gives you a little bit of clarity around the verbs to say and tell. Remember, um, on my Twitter feed, mctaggartj7, that's my username, you can find a lot of information about learning English. There's lots of tips and tricks which I retweet daily, so please do uh, use those. You can also get me on Facebook. And my Facebook username is facebook.com English with Joseph. You can find my books on Amazon. Right now the conditional tenses book is free. Feel free to download that. If you see any other books that you want, that you know I've written, write to me, give me feedback on these clips, and I will gladly send them to you free of charge. Um, you can also find me on Google Plus and all other social media sites. So feel free to contact me if I can be of any help. Those of you who know me also know that I teach on italki. You can also book lessons with me there. Contact me directly on Skype. My username is English with Joseph, all one word. Well, I hope this has been helpful, and I hope to see you all very soon. Thank you and goodbye.